second we got to the pool, like the second we sat down, it started downpouring. It's downpouring everywhere right now. By the way, this is our only pool day. This is the only day. Eric's coming down on the slide. His first time on it. Crazy. I hear him laughing. Here he comes. How was it? He doesn't hear me. Eric, how was it? Great. Great? Good. All right. Next we have an O. It is O63. Oh, 63. <laughs> That's uh, I've got to watch it. Cigar yeah, City highlights. Fabulous. With a fabulous view. Okay, Mommy got the second one of the list. I have no idea how to say that. I'm not even going to try. And then I got the Coco D Paradiso. Okay, this is mine. And this is Mommy's. They look so pretty. Okay, so I ordered that drink and I had specifically asked for the sweetest drink. I was like, whatever is the sweetest, most tropical, whatever, that's the drink that I want. So he said the Coco, Paradiso, whatever. So I ordered that one, I was so excited to try it. It looked so delicious. I took a sip and I almost threw up right away. It was so bitter, it, it tasted like, almost like grapefruit. I saw pineapple and coconut and I was like, these are my two favorite things. Of course I'm gonna get this one, especially if he says it's the sweetest. Sure. It was so bitter. I. I I was like cringing. It, it was so bad. So I went back and I told them and it wasn't like I had just ordered the drink and then I was like, oh, I actually don't like this one. Like I want a new one. Like I asked for the sweetest drink and it wasn't sweet at all. Me and Eric are having a nice little dinner with a beautiful view, a beautiful sunset. Look at this. All to ourselves. We've got this whole area all to ourselves. Guys, my friend Christine just called me and she was like, I'm at the Riviera, where are you? <laughs> no way! Oh my God, how are you? It's time for us to make some s'mores and set up our s'mores kit. Okay, it's time to make our s'mores. Let's see what Take we have. Oops. Which one? Okay, this so one these here? are actually marshmallows, even though they don't Take look like out. it. Um, they melt really easily though, so we can't keep them in the fire for too long. <gasps> Mickey Mouse ears, I love it. What is this? We're good. What are these? Look at this, this is like a table cover. Oh, look, a table cover. Everything's going away though. This is so stressful, they close put everything in here. So now you're gonna make more table so covers. Let's do the chocolate first. Okay, so we're putting the chocolate on first. There's my Mickey Mouse on the chocolate. I have that. Um, I don't know what these are. Yeah. Little crunchies. Okay, so since the other marshmallows roast really quickly, I'm just gonna use a normal one for now. Marshmallows bread or toasty? Toasty. Yeah. It's actually getting a real good toast right now. Oh, a little more. Oh, it's right here. Oh, oh that looks nice. My s'more is done. Let's eat it. So, right now, I'm going downstairs to meet my friend Christine and some of her friends that she works with here in Disney. I'm gonna meet them for maybe coffee, a drink, something. They're downstairs in the Voyager's Lounge right now. So, I'm taking the elevator down to go meet them. Showing Cars 2 just side. ended. <laughs> it's actually on the water right where we sat today. And look at this! We have the whole area again! How was the movie? Was it great? What was your favorite part? Commonly the races. The races. So we're walking to the Skyliner, which is me and mommy. I completely forgot to vlog. We're going to Hollywood Studios right now. We're gonna try and ride the new Star Wars ride. They close at 10, it's like a little after nine now, so we're just literally gonna go there, just to ride the ride. Okay, so we just met George on the Skyliner, and he's celebrating his birthday, so everyone wish George a happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hi, I'm Andrew, I'm from Orlando. You love I'm Disney? Just, yeah, I love Disney, yeah, actually. My mom used to work here for 12 years. <laughs> we have two corgis, actually, at our hotel that we're staying at. Corgis? Yeah, 
Like the dogs? Yeah. No, stop. I love corgis. You can follow my dog at nitro underscore the underscore corgi. So cute. Adorable. See ya. Fireworks from the Skyliner. Oh my god. Okay, so maybe we won't be riding the new Star Wars ride, but we're gonna try. <laughs> We didn't do much research on the Rise of the Resistance ride, and apparently you need like boarding passes. That's not a fast pass, it's just a boarding pass. And like you have to wake up at like 7 a.m. and like get a boarding pass at 7 a.m. But then you can't like click the button to get it until you're in the park, and everyone that's going on the ride has to be in the park by the time the park opens. I don't know, it's also confusing to me, and it's also new to me because I knew none of this at all so we're just gonna do our best we saw the sign before we got on the skyliner for the second time we were like should we even go and i was like you know what let's just do it you never know there's this thing called a backup boarding pass i think those are gone too but like we're gonna find out okay there's signs every two feet you step um so it's not looking so hot nope this is the exit we can't go this way oh no all right we made it in the park they're doing the show on tower of terror you probably can't hear me but we're in the park they just started the show and we're missing it Look at this. <laughs> All the 3D glasses! <laughs> Are we 3D? <laughs> oh no! Oh! He's trying to stay. looking at the tree. Look, we're just passing through. <laughs> what are the glasses? It's so cute. <laughs> He's scared of the fireworks. He doesn't like it. He's worried about his face. We worked hard to build this place. Our one thing? They know you're sensitive. Oh, we're right. The resistance. I wonder who's done it. You Sorry. <laughs> I know they should How did he get really good? We're doing a good job in there, I promise. I mean, I know we're protecting all of our new recruits. You can just get a four. Make it too hard. Yeah. And I know he's hiding. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so since we already rode this lovely ride, we're not going to go on it again. We're just going to get food and drinks instead. So mommy's going to get some food and drinks over at Bay 7, I think that's what it's called. What is it? What is that? I've never even been over here. There's a bar. this was here but it's a bar what? there's so many things here that I don't even know exist so mommy's going to get the food and the drinks that we liked over from the food area and I'm coming to get blue milk very excited they have green milk too what? which one do I get blue or green I get blue because it matches my hair okay mommy's trying the blue milk You like it, right? I, like it. <laughs> I had to drink it not on video because um, I was about to spill it, so. <laughs> oh, it's good. I think that one's good. Where are you going? It's so good. It's, it's really like, it literally tastes like a, like a yogurt, like a danimal that has rum in it. Phenomenal. And guess what? I'm telling both of you guys, the vlog and my mom, yeah. they have a green milk. And guess what's in the green milk? What? Tequila. Uh, oh. They tried to convince me to get both. They said, you guys should try to I know, we're getting all these drinks. Oh, gosh. I already have to wait. <laughs> all to get this beauty. Okay. My mom already went to the canteen bar. Yeah. Without me. She knew it was here. I didn't. I didn't. 
Guys, this is literally my favorite meal in my entire life. If I could come here and eat this every day, I would. And the perfect drink combination. It's crazy. We are literally the only ones in here. We need to leave. We need to eat and leave. Mission upward. Why makes it so fancy? You're so fancy. Everything is so futuristic in the Star Wars bathrooms. Okay, so this is the entrance to the Rise of the Resistance ride, and as you can see, it's completely shut down. <laughs> and I was wondering what the ride was like, and they said the best way to describe it is reading the warning sign. First comes first. So we went up to the cast members in front of Rise of the Resistance and they told us some very good information and now we have a better idea of what we're getting ourselves into if we want to ride the ride. The whole purpose of doing the virtual queue is to avoid wait times and I was like, okay, that makes sense. And the cast members said that if they didn't do that, they were looking at 12 to 13 hour lines. <laughs> so that's, that's a whole half a day. Like that's like the time that you're awake during the day. Like that's all of it. All you're doing is standing in line. And like I don't think that they're gonna let you get offline and go to the bathroom or go get a snack while you wait. It makes sense why they did that, but once they take everyone on the ride that has a boarding pass, like they shut down the ride for the rest of the day. That's a little, like, I, I don't know, that just, it doesn't make sense. I just don't know why they wouldn't keep giving people boarding passes until the park closes. It's all a mystery to me and, it, and like none of it makes sense yet, so I just want to come back and experience it so that I know what is going on because I just don't understand any of it. And I asked what the ride was like and the lady said it's a trackless ride. And I said is it a simulator? And they didn't even say yes or no. So like. I don't even know what kind of ride it is. Like, I just, I'm so curious to see once you sit down what happens. If it's a trackless, is it a simulator? They said you literally have to get here at like 4 a.m. Like, I thought that like those were the crazy people that got here at 4 a.m. No, like, you, if you want to ride the ride, like, you have to get here at 4 a.m. My mom is making me walk by myself. <laughs> This is adorable. Look at the shirt. The Buzz Spear jersey. Look at the ears. Oh my goodness. Look at this. They're riding in a milk carton monorail. Hooligans. So it looks like a VHS, right? It's a notebook. She's on my phone. This is the new thing. This is it. The new bronze collection. Everything is bronze. Everything. Our night is coming to an end. We decided to go to Magic Kingdom. We're bus number 36. Oh my god. This is the new bus area at Hollywood Studios that we have not seen yet. It's almost midnight. The park closes in like 26 and a half minutes. But we decided to come to the Magic Kingdom for 26 and a half minutes. Why? I don't know. Okay, none of these are open. I don't know, we might need to go over there. Are they not letting anyone else in? So why did we just come? The Magic Kingdom parking lot, Uber, left, right chair, and Epcot transfer are all to your right. I found one. I found one. Wait, no. You're good. Good. Bingo. I'm glad they let us in. Even though now we have like 14 minutes. There was only one. One. One magic band scanner. And we're the only ones using it. Because we're the only crazy people that come to the park two minutes before they close. So we came to Magic Kingdom just for a popcorn refill. Like, you know what? Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, she just scared me. I bet she didn't have it. I don't know what I'm doing. 